So look, if you're not using these strategies when trying to grow your following on Instagram, you are missing out a lot. Because for an entire year of 2022, I've been posting consistently, working my ass off and gained zero followers. In fact, I kept losing followers for an entire year. But when I started using these strategies I'm about to show you in this video, I got over 100,000 followers in less than 60 days period. And now I'm sitting at 131,000 followers, millions of views on my reels, collaborating with brands that I love and getting paid in return. So if you want to grow your Instagram page in 2022, Stay with me for five minutes on this video as I'm going to reveal all the secrets that big influencers don't want you to know. What you're seeing on the screen right now is a posting times table. So before we get into the main things that's gonna skyrocket your growth on Instagram, let's get the basics in place and that you must be posting at the right time times. You see, most people make a mistake when posting on Instagram. They simply post using the times that Instagram gives them. When you go to your audience insights, you can see when your followers are the most active. The problem with that is most likely everyone has the same insights. That means majority of the content creators will be posting at these specific times. What I found is that your content performs way better when you post it earlier on the day before majority of your followers are on the platform. Platform. And this is the timetable I came up with. Feel free to screenshot it right now and use it the next time you post. All the times that you see on this timetable are EST based times. So if you are not in the EST time zone, just convert those times into your own time zone. By the way, I recently recorded a step by step program where I'm going to give you the same timetable that you saw right now and also going to show you step by step how I grew my Instagram page to over 100,000 followers in less than 60 days. All the strategies I used and the program is completely free and you can get instant access to that program by clicking the first link in my description or in the first pinned comment. So I've said this in multiple videos already, but make sure that upload at the highest quality option is selected before you post anything on Instagram. To do that, simply go to settings, go to account, go to data usage and check in that the upload at highest quality is selected. As well, a few things to keep in mind before posting, make sure you have a strong Wi-Fi connection and let your video play out from start to finish before you click add, write your caption and post it. This gonna dramatically increase the quality of your video. A lot of people make a giant mistake with their stories simply because they do not read their stories the right way. Stories are just like reels or regular posts. Some of them perform really well, some of them just flops. And after testing multiple things on my stories, I found a strategy that works really well when you want to maximize your views on your stories. Now you don't want to do this all the time, but sometimes maybe when you want to promote something, feel free to use the strategy. Firstly, you want to let your story to reboot. Make sure it goes its course and you have no active stories on your Instagram. Now, what is really important is to post a right story right after that reboot. Instagram is going to push your stories if they're gonna get good engagement. And the highest engagement point you can get is for someone to reply to your story. If you can get a lot of people to reply to your story, your story is gonna start getting a lot of views. The second really high engagement lever is reaction. For example, you put polls, emojis, and people react to those. So to maximize your story views, make sure you're provoking people to either reply or to react to your story. Here is a good example of what I did recently. When I posted this story and I said, first hundred people who reply are going to get my program for free. And this story got 10 times more views than my regular stories do. But if you're gonna be doing this strategy, keep in mind that to maximize views, you must wait for your stories to reboot. And you want to have no active stories for like five to 10 hours before you post. Then you can post that engaging story and see your story views just rack up. If you don't know what to put for replies, just add something that people can react to. You can add polls, you can add emojis, you can add Q and A's. But at least for me, those reply provoking stories got the best results so far. So this is the one thing that grew my page the most. And Reels for sure is the best way to grow your Instagram page in 2023. I recently just started a brand new Instagram page and one of my recent reels hit over 100,000 views on a page with less than 500 followers. This just shows the power of Instagram reels. And there are a million ways to go about creating your reels, but let me show you the pro.
process I've found which works the best. So first, what you're gonna need is to find 10 to 20 influencers who are in your niche or in your industry slash style of content that you want to be creating. Then you want to go over and find the reels that perform the best for those influencers in the last 30 to 60 days. What you're gonna find is that some of the reels got 10 times more views. And what I would suggest you to do is just copy the link of that reel, put it in an Excel spreadsheet on or in the notes on your computer. What I would do then is I would try to recreate similar looking reel. I would try to use similar hook and just try to recreate the reel the same way that he did it. Just of course adding my own spin so it's just not complete copy. And what is really important is when you're posting that reel to use the right audio. So what you could do is you either reuse the audio of that reel or there is another really smart way to go about this, which I just found out recently. Look for pages like these, which are sharing trending audio tips almost every single day. Audios that has less than 5,000 uses and are about to blow up. And when you are making the video of that creator you just selected, try using different audio. And you can find those different audios from the pages that I just shown you on the screen. Also, once you start following these pages, Instagram is gonna feed you more of the pages like these. One thing to keep in mind is that these audios get saturated pretty fast. So if you're gonna be using them, make sure you're hopping on them as fast as possible. What I would recommend you to do is to have the video ready to post. And once you see that trending audio just came out, use that audio when posting. And guys, if you follow the strategy for the next 30 to 60 days, I can guarantee you that one of your reels is gonna blow up and you're going to start getting followers that you want it. So I recently got a comment saying this. I have watched a lot of videos that pretend to give true insights on how to grow your page, but this guy's video changed the game for my page. I've implemented almost every single one of his tactics and boy, oh boy, my page blew up. I'm not talking about just one post going viral, but multiple ones. He knows what he is doing. Consistency. I think with personal brands, we have a big advantage and that is that you don't need to be posting every single day. For me, I found a sweet spot of posting four to five times a week, which is still a lot. But let's say if you only can post three times a week, don't worry about it and just do it. When you're trying to hit a viral video and you don't really have an active audience built up already, just post as much as you can. Don't schedule too much and don't overthink too much. If you found a video that you want to recreate and you think it's gonna do really well, just do it. Now, when it comes down to hashtags, as you can see, I'm not using them on my videos. And to be honest, when I stopped using the hashtags, I started seeing way better results. This is something that you have to test for yourself. So what you can do is post videos without hashtags for one week and then do the same thing with hashtags. Now, growing a following is amazing, but I hope you also want to make money from it. Otherwise, it's just a hobby and you're just another page with a lot of followers, which cannot earn a sustainable income from that page. And trust me, there are a lot of pages like that. So in this video, I show you how you can actually start selling digital products from your page. I show the full process of creating and selling a digital product. So click here and watch that video for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like, subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to 